gun smoke. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad. The story of the violence that moved west with young America. And the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man. Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful. And a little lonely. Just listen to that miserable old coyote, Mr. Dillon. Did you hear him? <laughs> yes, I heard him, Chester. Uh, we gonna stop in for long, Brad? Oh, there's no reason to. It's late. It looks too quiet for anything to be going on. Well, uh, what I was thinking, I sure could do with some beer to go to bed on. If anybody was buying. <laughs> All right. Come on. The place does sound kind of like a morgue tonight, don't it? Well, it won't till the end of next month when the trail herds start rolling in. You'll be lucky to get your foot in, son. Been waiting for you, Marshal. Get your hands up. Well, no, I... Yeah, sure, Red. I won't argue with a shotgun. <laughs> That's what we figured. Take his gun, Red. Yeah. You... You don't mind, do you, Marshal? Ah, go ahead. Do what Hack says. He's the one who gives the orders, the way I hear it. You shut up, Marshal. Neither one of us gives orders. Ah? I didn't know you boys were in this part of the country. That's far enough, right there. Unless you want to see this little lady here get her pretty looks all spoiled. Matt, I tried to think of some way to get word to you. That's all right, Kitty. Just take it easy. Yeah, that's the idea, Marshal. You too, just take it easy. Everything will be all right. You got what you came after, Hack, or are you still trying to get it? We got it. We've been through all the boys' pockets, along with the safe and the cash box. Just fixing to leave when you stumbled in. We didn't have a chance, Matt. They walked in with the shotguns and said Kitty would be the first one to go. Forget it, Doug. These boys, Tollett and Slade, are wanted in a half a dozen states for bank robbery, stage holdup, How murder. How come you were so quick to recognize us, Marshal? We ain't been around here before. No, but your pictures have. You must have slipped into Dodge pretty quiet, huh? <laughs> That's right, Marshal. And gonna slip out the same way. I suppose you line up over there with the rest of the targets. Huh? Go <laughs> kind of expecting more out of you, Marshal, from what I heard about you. Is that so? Reputation's mighty easy to come by sometimes. All right, all of you. We're riding out of here now. We don't aim to get followed. Red, take her arm, Red. Here, yeah. what are you doing? Figure you boys won't be so likely to try nothing if you you go along with us a ways. Matt? Do as they tell you, Kitty. You'll be all right. Anybody pokes his head out this door, next few minutes gets it shot off. Same thing will happen to the lady. You keep the boys in line, Marshal. We've got a nice little town here. <laughs> Been a pleasure to visit it. Let's go, Rick. 
What are you going to do? What are we going to do, Mr. Dillon? Nothing, Chester. Oh, dang it, Matt. Let's get a posse going. Get something organized here. They took $14 off of me. He's just going to stand there. Hold it, Doc. And the rest of you, shut up. Uh, Simmer down now. Take it easy and stay away from that door. Matt, we can't just let them ride out. Doc, they got Kitty with them and they're killers. One move from us and they'll do exactly what they said they'd do to her. Well, maybe they will anyway. We'll give her the best chance we're able. That's all we can do. And I just can't figure it, Mr. Dillon. Well, we've spent from midnight last night until noon today checking every trail out of Dodge. So Beale and his scouts have worked the river bottom for ten miles each way. Yes, sir, I know. The whole countryside's on the lookout for them. Two men and a woman. They can't just disappear. Well, they sure done it so far. Yeah, they sure done it so far. Come on, Chester. Let's walk up the street and get something to eat, huh? All right. First time in all my recollection, I ain't had no appetite to speak of. Well, it won't help Kitty. You need to starve yourself. I got kindly a bad feeling there ain't nothing gonna help her, Mr. Dillon. Why not? I figure they've had time now to get far enough away they won't need her no longer. Why don't you shut up? Chester, I'm... I'm sorry I didn't mean to talk to you like that. Mm-hmm. I can understand. Yeah, I guess we both do. Well, good afternoon, Matt. Chester. Hello, Doc. Uh, did you find any trace of them? No, nothing. You, uh, want to have a bite to eat with us? Well, I just ate about an hour ago, but I, I might sit down with you for some pie and some coffee. If Chester can spare a little. <laughs> I ain't thinking much about food today, Doc. Oh, is that so? Well, Chess, if you ever reach my age, you'll realize come fire and brimstone, chaos and calamity, the first thing a man better look out for is his stomach. Yes, sir. As soon as he starts going off his feet, he starts going downhill. You betcha. And when he starts to go down in the hill... Oh, my, I sure hope Kitty's all right. We all hope so, Doc. Well, what the... Hey, that was Kitty. Yes, that was down the street there somewhere. Yeah, come on. No wonder there was no trail. They never even left town. They planned to hole up for a night or two and then ride out after the search was all over. Miss Kitty must have broke loose for a minute, huh? Yeah. Matthews! Matthew! Save it, Miles. There's trouble up the street. That's not up the street. It's right over there in my store. What? Upstairs in the storage loft. By Jing, he's right, Mr. Dillon. There's a pane of glass broke out up there. Aye. Yeah. Is there another window in the back, Miles? Aye. Same as the one in the front. <laughs> I reckon they've seen this all right. Chester, you go cover that back window, huh? Yes, sir. Michi's still alive. Yeah. So far. They're certainly mighty quiet up there, Matthew. Nothing to talk about, I guess. Well, they know they can't get out of there. No, Doc, and we can't get in. Uh, Matt, suppose we set fire to the building. Oh, no, you're not. You're not setting fire to my store. Not if they stay up there for the next year, you're not. They just didn't have Kitty up there with them, and it'd be easy. Uh, sure, just wait for them to starve out. Or else burn the place down. Will you stop seeing that, Doc? Well, it's going to be dark before long, Matt. Yeah, I know. Why don't they give up? They know they haven't got a chance. They have as long as they got Kitty, Doc. I don't know. Maybe they're finally ready to talk. Hey, Red! Hack! Careful. Careful, man. You beat and you know it. Why don't you throw your guns out of that window and come on down? Suppose we throw the lady out instead, Marshal. Look, both of you. 